Yo, what's the dick? You bought 3CP, the dude who single-handedly ended the career of J-Mail Flow. Yes, I said it. Hey, let's just go back and go look back at some of the stupid stuff this nigga did. I said, hey, yo, what the hell? Is it a video? And, and it, it'll get a lot of people to view, and a lot of people gonna get mad. And a lot of people in the comment section gonna start talking about you still doing this and that. And remember, I said if you wanna be funny, I'm gonna put you in a dress. So before you talk, and I'm gonna look at you and this, this real one dude I already know this. Yeah, I know the dude. He came in thought he was gonna be funny. I got put in a dress. But anyway, so this is something I wanna do. So if you don't wanna watch it. If you're a JML guy, if you're a TG guy, and I've seen that these guys actually still exist, um, I feel sorry for y'all, but you're not gonna like this video. We're gonna get right into it, man. This is what this is the stuff that he was doing at the time. He was literally believe this drugs make people do this, so we're gonna get right. Into it. Um, he actually congratulated me on making a good song and wanted me to freestyle on his. Wanted me to freestyle on his which one call on his on YouTube like freestyle on YouTube. And Russell Simmons wanted to take me to his recording studio, and give me a tour to try to sign me, bro. And I'm like, Alright, what's good with y'all boys? She's your nigga back. Yeah, it's JML back, man. We back with the, uh, another story time for y'all boys. Um, something that's been going on in my life. Um, y'all found out I was a rapper. You feel me? I'm like, JML, what you mean you're a rapper? I'm a rapper. I'm a rapper. Um, first of all, this nigga's not a rapper, y'all. If y'all seen that, y'all, y'all happen to hear this song, I don't know how, well, I guess anybody can get some more war story at this time. But he got a song on it called Rock Star. It's the worst song ever. But of course, he's a, he's a rapper. I'm actually was a, I started rapping. Like I really made rap songs, and I y'all can hear them if y'all search the internet and really get deep dive. It's a lot. Of, it's hard to get some of them, but yeah. Last summer, or like a year ago, or two years ago, two years ago when I was living in Finley, I, I got locked up. Uh, I got locked up, right? And I end up um, getting a call. Or Funk Flex end up, yeah, I end up getting a call or two. I end up getting two, like, I end up, two people end up contacting me and end, ended up um, wanting to sign me for that song, Rockstar. I made J-Man, I feel like a rock star, like, give me a cold heart. Going by that red car, hoping that it drive far. Um, Look at him, he is. Thinking in his head with the live eye. This nigga just paused for no damn reason. He was talking about something and then he just stopped. Because he's trying to think of a lie in his head. He's trying to. Or maybe it's the drugs on this nigga that he just. The nigga just literally just. He was talking and he just. Just stopped. I'm sick. But, um. This this should happen two years. This happened a year or two ago, but they end up contacting me. I still contact them and stay in contact with them, but they actually wanted to sign your boy. This basically, this basically. Well, look at this. Look at this. This is just a you don't know. That's just a picture of a random studio that you can find on Google. He just found a picture of a studio, and the. Here, this is the shit. Well, I took a year off, bro. I took a year off of YouTube. They basically wanted to sign your boy um, to a contract. You know what I'm saying? So, um, when I tell y'all, that's why I'm sitting back. Like, you're like, Jamin, why you always, I know you're the Madden player. Like, you're always goofy. What's good with y'all, boy? Y'all boy! But that's why I'm sitting, like, I'm sitting big. You know what I'm saying? I'm living large. I'm, I'm not living large, but, like, I'm, I'm on a point. Like I said, I met a lot of people. And I've been making a lot of dumb decisions. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I guess when you get involved in the industry, bro. I, I, I ain't gonna say I lost myself, but I, I damn near went off the rails, bro. You feel me? But we're gonna get more to that later. But like I said, I've been rapping for the last three years. A lot of y'all didn't know I was a rapper. A lot of y'all just now finding out that I was a rapper. 
Uh, a lot of y'all just finding out that I was a rapper. Uh, You're not a rapper, y'all. He is not a rapper. J Mail, you are not a rapper. You are garbage. Uh, what was I about to say? Uh, uh, I'm, uh, a lot, y'all are like J Mail, like. I don't know what y'all. I don't know what to tell y'all. I guess it's like it's my private life. I'm really sacred on sharing who I really am as a person with y'all. I really don't. I really don't like sharing who I am with y'all. Like until like I really don't share who I am with anybody. Like girls, when it comes to girls, that's why I'm really hesitant to even make this video. Like I was, there's only a few people who knew that uh, these people contacted me and wanted to sign me for that song. But your boy do got bars. I've been spitting for like two to three years. Uh, I've been rapping for like a year or two. Like, two, like I said, I've been rapping for two or three years. I, I never thought about being a rapper until like I blew up on YouTube. I was like, I always, my mentality was always once I get to a million, that's why I need everybody to sub to this channel. Sub to this channel. Start taking everything serious. Uh, we're gonna start doing more videos, even though we got mad videos. We're gonna start vlogging and doing real life videos because rapping, when you become a rapper, you, you rapping in real life. Y a lot of y'all, like, like when I did the New York vlog, like, usually rappers do stuff like they do like tours, or, like they take you, they show you who they is as a person, they take you on tours of their houses, mansions, or they take you downtown. They, they got clout in real life, basically, besides being a video game YouTuber. Now, I'm not, I'm not shitting on video game, like, video game, you know what I'm saying? That's where I came from. That's what I take that like, take to heart like, that's what I take home with me and that's what I'm real about like that's what that's what I like love about myself that, like I was a mad in YouTube and I'm also love rapping rapping is my dream but I was a YouTube YouTuber like, being a YouTuber is my dream that's why I wanted to be a rapping YouTuber but when it came to um being my nigga you wanted to be a rapper and a YouTuber you just all on the YouTube because you were like, wow, this is actually making me money and people are watching me and they're actually, uh, I'm actually pretty good at doing with this and it just started something. Nigga, you was in college, you was playing football, but you wasn't good. You wasn't, you played one game and you didn't do anything in that game and you found out, well, shit, I'm in there just in my dorm making youtube videos and i see i'm getting a few I'm getting some views and stuff and blah 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 and the guy madden talk was the guy who uh introduced a lot of people to him a lot of us to jmail uh that's why i found him and then they got some type of beef going on but yeah and then he's like okay fuck it that means i like doing it and then when you started making some money with this you dropped out of college to do youtube kind of that's what you did i mean that's what it did. We, we literally watched your story, but self, I'm never gonna shit on myself or like pretend, pretend like like I would never get around rappers. Like I said, I met a lot of celebrities like over the last year. I'm not, I'm never gonna get around them and be like, oh yeah, that YouTube and stuff is corny. Like people who do vlogs or like who who streams video games. Like ain't nerdy. I would never call y'all nerds. I would never be like that. I would never change on y'all. I would never like change on myself. You feel me? So I take that. I, like, that's real sacred to me. And I take that to heart. That, like I, I came up as a YouTuber. As, as a Madden YouTuber and I, I became somebody who wanted to be signed to a real uh, record studio a, a real recording studio wanted to sign me for that song you feel me so like that's just a story of a lifetime like big going from Madden YouTuber to being a rapping sensation and, and being being that big and being that known around the world <laughs> things like it's a rapid sensation a rapping sensation I mean I don't even know if I can play the rock star song on here when I get copyrighted. I'm definitely not gonna give that nigga no money. Uh, but y'all know the song. Y'all heard it. I don't, if I could, let's just say, if I had to pick one person who's garbage, who sucks at rapping, and compare it to that song, let's see, who I do not like? A rapper I don't like. Uh, let's say like Lil Uzi Vert. I don't like Lil Uzi Vert. I would buy a whole Lil Uzi Vert album before I listen to that shit. Fucking, oh, uh, J.J. Fish. Ice J.J. Fish. That's a good one. Ice J.J. Fish. That's a close one. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'll probably still, I'll probably listen to Ice J.J. Fish before I listen to that shit. But yeah. The, you recorded a song, you got it on World Star. It, we all uh, a lot of people got videos on World Stories. It's, it's like YouTube. You get a channel, you get on there. But 
Up, you know what I'm saying? So that's what your boy is on right now. I'm really trying to become the biggest thing and the biggest artist and the biggest rapper in the world. You feel me? And so that's why I really took a like took a year off, took a year or two off. And I've been on this journey, right? And everybody been trying to leave me homeless, take me to shelter, take me doing different things. But I'm really, I really am. I'm, I'm gonna say the greatest artist in the world. You feel me? I'm the greatest rapper of all time. And a lot of y'all gonna find out how. You feel me? <laughs> He's the greatest rapper of all time, y'all. This, this this dude right here, y'all looking at, is the greatest rapper of all time. This is the drugs just talking to this nigga, y'all. Y'all y'all know that. This dude was just coked up, and he really thought he was the greatest. Like, when you do crack and cocaine, you probably think you can do anything. You probably, he probably think he's Superman, and he can fight Thanos and stuff. Look at this. This is the... The greatest rapper of all time. He had one song. He made one song. I mean, I'm gonna start uploading music on this channel. And y'all, I'm when I tell y'all, y'all found a diamond or y'all found somebody in the rough. I'm really trying to tell y'all boys the nigga y'all looking at right now is the greatest rapper of all time. Y'all like, J man, you you play mad. Like I wouldn't expect you to be the great. Exactly, my nigga. Y'all see y'all hear I'm talking, my nigga. Y'all y'all nobody ever knew this side of me, bro. I really spit bars, nigga. Like, you feel me? But when it comes to YouTube, I'm like, yo, what's up? It's your boy, J Man for AK Miss was good to go. You feel me, nigga? Y'all feeling me now, my nigga? Like, y'all like, J Man, nigga, 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 chicka, 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 Like, that's. What the fuck this nigga is doing? Chicka, 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 like vlogging and like that, like even on like when I stream on Twitch, a lot of y'all used to come to my stream once. Y'all remember this dude? I see my hair die. Y'all used to come to my stream. I used to be like this, or stream just playing video games. This, this the nigga like this the nigga like I not have my snap back on. I used to just stream like yo, what's up, boy? Like the nigga like who I was always, I was always high or something. This who the rapper is? J Mel Flow. I was like, eh, it's J Mel Flow. Eh. What's good, y'all nigga? What's good, my guys? What's good, nigga? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but when it comes to me, but, but when it comes to being a rapper, I'm like the trillest nigga of all time. You feel me? Like, you see how that changed instantly? Like, what's up? Like, you feel me? And that, that's why you're like, j -Man, I wouldn't expect you. Like, you you get Russell Simmons, Funk, Flex, Funk, Master, Flex, Russell They hit you up. Like, yeah. Like, nobody ever really believed that I could be a rapper. That's why I always kept it low key. But I'm really trying to become the biggest thing of all time. And like I said, when I start talking to these people, they were like, yo, I heard your song. Uh, rock star, we want to sign you. Or uh, Funk wanted to actually get me to rap or freestyle on his which one call him. Um, he actually congratulated me on making a good song and wanted me to freestyle on his. Wanted me to freestyle on his which one call on his on YouTube, like freestyle on YouTube. Russell Simmons wanted to take me to his recording studio. Nobody wanted to do anything with that damn song. That song was either I, if I'm I'll be I should be A and R. There ain't nothing in that song that made me want to go sign a dude to this. Wow, I heard your song. I done heard a lot of music on uh, YouTube. I done heard it on wherever. I'm a DJ. I hear a lot of good stuff from guys you never heard. I know good music. I ain't locking down the door for this for that shit that that nigga put together. That shit that nigga put this shit whatever that rock star song. That shit that nigga put together was straight doo doo. Do 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 in the toilet, nigga. I don't know what you think he's thinking. If if front must affect is that desperate, thing, man, he had to go say, "Hey, I want to sign that member." Russell Simmons wasn't even he was he been out the music game for a minute. And so, so your mama pointed that out before. Now this dude, dude Russell Simmons, like doing like horses or pretty old or something. He ain't even doing no. He he don't got nothing to do with Def Jam no more. And this nigga, the thing was. Kidding. Give me a tour to try to sign me, bro. And I'm like, <sighs> I don't know how it turned out. Now, like I said, I met a lot of people. I was talking to Ariana Grande. <laughs> My life, really. But then a lot of sh shit just hit the fan, bro. Like, I stopped caring about a lot of those people. I heard a lot of those people. I let a lot of those people down to my back on them. Like, I let them hang them, bro. And that's something. Like, the, the fact that he thought this, but let me tell you how he thought what happened when he talked to Ariana Grande. He probably, you know, on Twitter, there's a bunch of fake people make fake pages, and on YouTube and, uh, I mean, Facebook, they make these fake pages. There's a, the fake Drake added me a long time ago, but he got, like, a lot of followers. People thinking, like, the real Drake. 
and he was probably talking to some chick who added him and thought it was Eric, and, and he'd been chatting with this same, and this, and then some of them dudes be trying to scam, they be scamming to get money out of people, but uh, this nigga, this was for money, so I don't know if that nigga sent them money, but she, she he probably chat with her and think, oh, hey, she say something like, hey, and he'd be like, hey, I'll listen. and he think, that's my damn girl, yeah, Ariana Grande, who's like, I think she date, who she dating now, let me know what I said, man, it's just somebody real, like, she's, they, uh, it's some other popular dude or sports guy that she's dating. <laughs> yeah, she went from that to from J Mail. Yeah. Um, like that's something. This shit about to get emotional, but like, um, that's something I don't like when people do like beat me. You feel me? Um, and uh, I ain't gonna say and get emotional, y'all boys, but um, that's what I did to a lot of them people. A lot of celebrities I met. A lot of like they. I we was even rapping with them. I rap with them. Uh, even over the year, like walking around talking to them uh we were basically in group like group chat type scenarios uh and i let a lot of them down and um that's something i I never liked when people did to me like i always tell y'all like all these people in my life left me hanging so fuck them so it's like what you expect people gonna do to you you leave me hanging and that, that's the number one thing I talk about, fake people. And I, I guess I'll turn fake on them. So, like that. Yeah, nigga, you did turn fake. You been fake. Hey, you know, y'all, y'all be like, well, what are you talking about this nigga? He is perfectly fine right now. Whatever he do. I don't know. He blocked me on Twitter a long time ago. He begged me for some more money. But, uh, so, he probably watching, he's probably going to watch this video. He, he makes a lot of troll accounts. And the fact that I'm just gonna keep doing what I do because I must remember he said I don't get no views. He said nigga don't nobody watch me. He said I was garbage. I know about all that before. Before we was cool, you know. Oh yeah, but guess what? I'm still here, and you're not. And everybody who watch you, they still mad, and I'm still here. Let me know what y'all think, man. We're gonna do another. One. We can go back to. I wish we could. We're gonna go back and just respect. We're gonna go like. We go back and dive, deep dive, and back to the old J Mail stuff. I mean, y'all want to go back to the live, still in chicken. Let me know which ones y'all want me to go react back to, and we'll do them. And we out.